radical expressions. Now let us learn how to express a mixed radical as an entire radical. So here we have four questions to practice. 2 square root of 3, we have to write this as one radical. Similarly, we have 3 square root of 5, 2 square root of 2, and 5 square root of 2. I will do two of them for you. You learn the technique and apply it on the other two. I hope you appreciate that. Okay, so let me take 3 square root of 5. One radical means I want to take 3 inside the radical. As you know, 3 can be written as square root of 3 times square root of 3 square root of 3 times square root of 3. That means if I want to take 3 inside the radical sign, I should multiply this 5 by 9, right? Square root of 3 times square root of 3. In a way, let me show you the steps here. So this could be written as 5 times 2 3's. Do you see that? So 3 square was inside the radical and therefore you could have written 3 outside. So that is the way and now this gives us the result 5 times 9 is 45. So 45 is equivalent radical for the mixed radical given here. Correct? So that is how you write an entire radical. Now in this case we have, let me do D for you now, 5 square root of 2. So if I want to bring 5 inside the radical sign, what should I get in? 5 is as good as square root of 25. Do you see that? 5 is square root of 25. So that means we are talking about square root of 2 times not 5 but 25 square root, right? So when you multiply these, what do you get? You get square root of 50. So that is how you, are, you can convert mixed radical into an entire radical. It's a very important technique and you'll find it very useful at times. Thank you.